Everyone, welcome back to the channel. Awesome that you're here. Greatly privileged that you are all subscribing. Please do hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. It's awesome that like people are. My channel is growing nicely and I'm gonna give you some awesome value. So if you're new to cryptocurrency, do that first. Hit the like button and you'll see some awesome value today. I'm gonna to talk about Litecoin versus Bitcoin in terms of what the uses are. How are they different in terms of rewards and difficulty and all that kind of good stuff. But ultimately, Stay to the end of the video, I'm going to show you something that you'll probably like as an investor to show you why halvings matter on both of the networks and what the massive industry element of it, absolute scarcity, you need to understand it and why it matters. And I want to show you some amazing future gains that's going to happen over the next year. See you in a second. Right, so I hope I got your interest. I'm gonna show you a pattern in the charts, why this is majorly, majorly, majorly important that you understand this as an investor. Certainly if you're looking to buy low, sell high, you should be doing this because this is the fundamentals that people ignore. So stay to the end of the video and you'll see it. But if you're new, hit the bell button, hit the subscribe button, smash up the old likes and support me as much as you can. I am a full-time plonker in this industry so i love it and yeah let's go now who created bitcoin satoshi nakamoto him or her whoever robot i don't really care spoke a lot on this forum if you're not on bitcoin talk you should be why it is created by satoshi him or her himself or whatever it's one of those things right you can look back historically at all the posts and how clever this person is which is why i don't think craig wright is anything to do with satoshi Let's be honest, he just bought old wallets on this forum. Now, this is where the old crusties are. This is where the old veterans are. The old miners. The big whales. This is where they play. Now, you can buy certain things on here. You can buy old addresses. You can buy cool stuff. And there's also some very big influential people on here. Hal Finney, who sadly passed away, he was on here because he was the first person to receive Bitcoin. You've got the likes of Nick Sabo on here. Previously, he spoke about smart contracts in 1995. Wow. You've also got the likes of you know, Vitalik Buterin, Charlie Lee, who I'm going to mention in this video, they're all on here. They're all the big, massive hitters are on here because this is where it all started, believe it or not. So, Bitcoin. Let's start at Bitcoin first. It's the same structure as Litecoin. It has a different sort of mining algorithm, SHA-256. 10-minute reward time for um, blocks to be full. Verify, validated, sent away, all that good shit. And then you've got the 14 day difficulty and you've got a difference in supply. Litecoin, created by Charlie Lee, this dude here, ex Google employee, engineer, um, ex Coinbase engineer. Litecoin works on a thing called script for mining, a little bit different to the previous element of what I've just mentioned with the 256. You've got two and a half minutes block time in terms of block reward sort of element of it in terms of the blocks get filled they get sent away the miners then validate and verify it then they're rewarded okay a lot faster four times faster essentially then you've got the three day difficulty you probably notice in a trend right now everything if you divide it by four what bitcoin is you basically get what litecoin is i'm going to show you why in a minute and then you've got a different supply now why does this all matter it matters in terms of the, the difficulty adjustment within the coins, why they hold value, why they find new bottoms, and why they keep going up over time. Absolute scarcity is the absolute mutts nuts in why cryptocurrency will be the fiat system. I know that's a brave call to say, but when you look at this and think you cannot print or make any more Bitcoins or Litecoins for that matter, ever again that is it it is hidden locked put in that code and that is it right 21 million for bitcoin 84 million for litecoin everything is a multiple of four essentially give or take a bit different in some elements but if you divide 84 um million by four you get 21 <laughs> when you look at the difficulty 14 and 3 not far away when you divide it in when you divide in the block time, divide that by four, you get two and a half. It's not far out, is it? 
it isn't at all, right? So bear everything in mind what you're going to see. When you look at the price of Bitcoin and Litecoin, if you divide that by four of what Bitcoin is, yeah, it's it's a bit out. But when you look at bridging the gap between the speed of the, you know, how they move, would it be, would it be hard to imagine that if Bitcoin is on the same level, or I'll say that again, when Litecoin is on the same level of, of Bitcoin in terms of scarcity of rewards, will Litecoin be a much higher price because it is as rare as Bitcoin? possible question to be answered there so why does it matter when you look at the difficulty adjustment of bitcoin or litecoin or whatever coin that works in this way how does it work right let's go back to basics because you're probably completely lost now difficulty adjustment for bitcoin it is 14 days every 14 days it gets harder or easier depending on the price and the demand of the coin it's a security element. Bitcoin has never ever been hacked, neither is Litecoin. Why? It works in a similar sort of way. Every time certain things happen, it gets a bigger price, more injection of people, the difficulty gets harder for the algorithm to, you know, do the cryptography essentially, to do the thing. That technical stuff. Yeah. So when it gets harder, it means it's gonna be more cost, you know, cost demanding. Okay, so it's gonna cost a lot more. When that happens, the price goes up because it's creating a bubble effect essentially so when it does it it creates a problem now the biggest problem with bitcoin is it's two weeks this here the top of it this was in the bear market this was when we had the free fall this was when everything went from 6k all the way down to three oops now that's when it doesn't work but when you look at bull runs and historic data the price keeps going up it's supported by the miners when the miners then shut off that's where you get this problem okay so you've got to be careful in terms of how you portray this as a as an investment opportunity if the miners are working and they're in profit and they're working hard as in they're on it's good it's a good store of value it's a good element of support and ultimately they're making money for doing the job that they need to do process the payments the solutions the, the funds the transfers all that good stuff Litecoin's a bit different. Why? Every three days. So this makes it better. Why? When you look at it in one or two ways, Bitcoin, you can catch it at the right time. If you're mining Bitcoin, it pops up by a grand. Cool, you don't have to worry about it because your difficulty is not going to change. However, when it dumps, you're like, oh my God, I'm losing money hand over fist. The difficulty is not adjusting. It's going to cost a lot of money. I mean, oh, bugger. The difference with Litecoin is it's three days, it's a lot faster. So if Litecoin tanks, your difficulty adjustment of the, the cost element of the, you know, the cost demand of the difficulty will go down quicker. Whereas, you know, it's going to go up faster as well. So you, you, you've got less profit margins over time. If Bitcoin goes up to the moon and it keeps like trickling up the difficulty, cool, you're in profits for longer. You're getting more than you, you, you know, more than you originally invested in. That makes sense. I hope it does. But yeah. That's the gist of it. That's what the differences are. There's not much. Another difference I already mentioned was the block size. The block size matters for the purpose of the coin. Bitcoin is never going to be a payment solution. It's, it's always going to be used on the light network, Lightning Network, which will mainly be off the chain. On the chain, though, you've got difficulties. You can't spend a certain amount of coins. You can't do this, that, and the other because it's going to clog up the network. It's very, very small. It is. It's a 10-minute block size. It takes a long time. So you've got to wait 10 minutes for it to actually happen. It doesn't just happen like that. Litecoin, on the other hand, two and a half minutes a lot faster so it'll pack it up quickly go bitcoin go it's, it's a lot of a it's a big difference so when you look at that they matter fundamentals matter now i'm going to mention this i think this is the bottom scary isn't it thinking that i think that's the bottom why let's look at the running this is what's going to happen right this chart here Let's just change this to the weekly so I can see it a bit better. This was, okay, let me zoom in. You can hear my lovely singing voice. So this here, right, doesn't look like much, but it's 300% gains, 380. This was Litecoin halving ending. It happened. Done. Cool. What happened after that? Well, my friend, Litecoin ended. The halving happened. Cool. 
Bitcoin is nine months after it. What happened here? We had 300% rise, 400%, whatever, over that period of time. Cool. Makes sense, right? We're seeing the exact same pattern here. Real life right now, this second. We're seeing the exact same thing that could happen. Now, what happened? Back in 2015, Litecoin halving happened. It changed. It halved. Cool. Miners get less. Awesome. This is when it happened. This is where we are right now, where we've kind of rallied up a little bit. We have, because you can see it here from the bottom. So it went all the way up. We're coming down a little bit. We could have another rally coming up soon. Now, not going to say it's going to happen, but this could happen. Strong possibility. Not financial advice. Litecoin halving is going to happen in 90 days time. Cool. Bit of a pop. Yay. Bitcoin halving is nine months later. The halvings on Bitcoins are pretty aggressive. They've always had a massive meteoric rise. And this shows you one here. From the start of Litecoin rally into a trend. We're trending there. Even though that's on the weekly time frame. We are still above the trend on lines. 300... 400% top to bottom. Now, what happened after this? We know. Moon. Now, does this kind of mention anything about bull and bear markets? Now, what's happened? This has happened. If I go to the current day, where are we right now? Oh my god, where are we? Ooh. Daily time frame. Come on, Ash, sort your life out. Oh my god. Oh my god, there we go. Is this the bottom? I think it is. 14 days after that price, turn. Off we go. Fundamentals for you. Use them. Now, Litecoin. Why Litecoin, Ash? Well, let's look at back in time. Boo, 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 boo. There is something on here that I did prepare earlier. No, there's not. But it's here. There it is. Kill. This is a Litecoin pop. This was a Litecoin dump. <laughs> right. This is a volatile market. We know that. Now, this one on top to bottom. Oh, God. Oh, my days. I know it was like 49 days over the weeks. Doo -doo -doo. Meow. Kill. There you go. 500%. Give or take. Now, why did this matter? This was a Litecoin pop. What happened after that? Well, Bitcoin went on a rise. Why would this come down? Because when Bitcoin goes up pretty aggressively, coins tend to go the opposite way. It always does that. Why? It's just one of those things. Now, you can see it here. This was when Bitcoin was starting to rally up. This was when the Bitcoin halving happened. Uh, when was it? July. Yeah, July 16. Bitcoin halving. It popped up a little bit and then it came down. Downtrend, downtrend, downtrend. This was the bull run. This is when things started to wake up. Okay, this is when Litecoin got listed on Coinbase. And these are all catalysts. These are what you need to be aware of. Why? If you've got a halving event where it's going to create scarcity, absolute scarcity is massive. We've already mentioned it. But when you've got another one nine months later, you've got some great fundamental bases. So my top tip would be have a bit of money in Litecoin. Have it also in Bitcoin. We are at $5,000. Okay, I'll take 5,300, we'll say 5,000, round number. What would happen if this happened again in the market? Wait for it. Uh oh, boring. Why is it boring? What's amazing about this is the correlation between Bitcoin is massive between USD. If I change this chart now and put a USD chart on it, you're going to see something totally different. Why? Because look. I've already mentioned it. When you put Litecoin and Bitcoin together. Let me find an old chart. Um, there you go. The problem we've got is. This is the all time highs that people remember. The, the $200, $300 marks for Litecoin. Why is the difference with BTC value? Because Bitcoin at the time was going on a massive tear. This was a Bitcoin at all-time highs, mid-December. Okay, I hope you're following this because it's probably mind-boggling. Okay, when you look at this, people remember this. But in terms of why things went up for certain coins and they went down for certain coins, because of what Bitcoin did. If Bitcoin goes to 20k and this does not catch up with Satoshi values, 
it's going to look better in fiat, but you, in terms of like growing your Bitcoin, it's going to be less. Does that make sense? Hope it does. Anyways, I'm going to end it there because I've talked a lot. Bitcoin halving, May the 24th, next year, 2020. Litecoin halving the 6th of August this year. Invest in Litecoin, okay? Don't put what you can't afford in it. If you're looking to get into cryptocurrency, do your research, find out what Litecoin is. But if you're looking for a safer bet, there's a big catalyst coming in terms of a growth. It's going to go up to $100 at least, minimum, in my personal opinion. Maybe higher, probably a lot higher. FOMO kicks in. Then you got after that, you sell it, you go, right, cool, made some money. Woohoo. You then look at buying into Bitcoin at the bottom. Bitcoin could quite easily go over all time highs in the next three years. My personal opinion, not financial advice. If you're willing to wait three years to three times your your investment, do it. Because this is the industry you're in. Other altcoins will do it more aggressively, but you need to do your full research. Links below for Telegram. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you liked all my new stuff as well. It's pretty cool. Comment if you like.